When performing a rheumatological examination, you must look, feel and move every joint. On examination of the ankles and feet, consider the skin, joints, muscles and nails. Remember the mnemonic EARS, which stands for erythema, atrophy, rash and scars. Look for the ankle joints and joints of the foot for swelling or deformities. Note any muscle wasting. Luke, do you have any pain in your feet? No. no. Next, we move on to feel the joints. First, feel for warmth over the joints by palpating with the back of your fingers. Compare left and right. Next, check each joint for tenderness by compressing each joint between the thumb and index finger with enough force to cause blanching of your own fingernail. Check each joint of the foot individually. Palpate the joints from the sides. During palpation for tenderness, note any swelling over any of the joints. Move the joints of the feet through their normal range of motion by moving the ankles through dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, the subtalar joints through inversion and eversion, and the interphalangeal joints through flexion and extension. Could I get you to go through those motions yourself uh, actively? So if you could. Uh, Next, test for active movement by asking the patient to move their ankles through dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. Their subtalar joints through inversion and eversion. And their interphalangeal joints through flexion and extension. Curl them up and splay them. Okay, that's everything. The last thing I'll get you to do is if you could stand up and you could walk to the end of the room. Assess the patient's gait from the perspective of balance, rate of walking, how they hold their arms and legs, presence of any recognizable gait disorders such as hemiplegia, spastic paraphesis, shuffling gait, ataxic gait, foot drop, Trendelenburg, or the waddling gait of proximal myopathy. Okay, that's everything, Luke. Thanks very much. Thank you, Doctor.